Hey, hey. Um, welcome back if you are uh, one of my subscribers and welcome if you're new. Uh, I am Maritha Marie and this channel you get a little view into my little stitching adventure. So. Um, updates on life. Uh, my son is most of the night sleeping um, and there has only been two or three days this week where he has woken up in the middle of the night. Uh, so that's good. Now the biggest problem is getting me to sleep. <laughs> Because I will wake in the middle of the night, I will not sleep very heavily, so I will wake of every sound that is in the house or the neighbor's house. We have those, uh, I don't know what it's called, but the houses that are like joined together in a row. And uh, one of our, one of the neighbors, they have a little girl that is just over a year and she is screaming almost all night every night and I uh, when it's in the middle of the night there is like total silence I can actually hear her I don't think it's through the walls I think it's through the windows um, so so yeah I still am struggling with sleep, but I hope it will soon get well. And uh, this weekend, I hope and think will be really, really fun. I am going to a wedding on Saturday. On Sunday, it is my brother and niece's birthday party. Uh, my niece is having her birthday tomorrow. And my brother had his birthday on Tuesday, which was also my three years anniversary married to my husband. So, a lot of celebration going on. Um, me and my husband did not celebrate, just because it's a normal Tuesday. He was from work. He normally always have, uh, he, he has a... Uh, play date every Tuesday, <laughs> if I can call it that, uh, where he play board games. So, and since this weekend is busy, uh, I'm not sure if we will do some celebrating the week after that. So, it is by the way, September 27th of the 27th, yes, of September. 2018 uh, it is just past noon as you can see my head is scrambled and I'm struggling to uh, keep my thoughts straight uh, it is just because I'm not sleeping well I'm not feeling well at all so we'll just roll with it and hope it goes better so um, my, I have one of the coolest t-shirts I have on me today. Look at those bunny slippers. So this is one of my favorite guys. <laughs> and yeah, a bad day needs a good t-shirt. So um, I, the stitching this week. It's not totally bad, but it's not too well either because I am struggling with my hand. I have a finger that is hurting all the time if I move it, uh, or rather if I bend it like this, it starts to hurt a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. And if I stitch too long, the pain is uh, going down my arm also. Uh, after a while so it's not like a huge pain like I can't do it uh, but enough that 
since it it is increasing while when I stitch then after a few hours I have to stop or yesterday I did like I have a timer on and or rather I had my audiobook there is a timer sleep timer on the audible app where I have my book so I will set that to 30 minutes sit and stitch while listening and when the book turned itself off I knew okay now it's time to stop stitching and I did something else in the house and that worked really well so uh, and it didn't start to hurt so I might try to continue doing that and also a bonus because then I have to do something else in the house and then I usually end up either cleaning or bobbinating or dyeing fabric <laughs> baking bread so so yeah um news um i just want to first to say that there has been some drama in the stitching community and I, when I do news, I will not do drama. Uh, some people might get offended by that, uh, but I, and I call it drama because I do not really know what the situation is. I have just heard from someone that heard from someone and I'm not rolling with that. That is not a good source for me to, to speak about. Plus, I want my news to be happy stitching news. So, um, the Disney cell is still open, uh, and Tinkerbell that has been released, plus the extra panels that are done. I know the Corpse Bride. Uh, Woody and Jesse, Elastic Girl, um, or you can buy full price now and be able to stitch on Cre Creatively Crafty's shop. Um, and if you still want to join the cell, you have to join it before September the 30th. Or that is the last day you can join the cell, then it will close down and you will not be able to join. If you are joining the cell, you get uh, one third off all the extra panels. So, um, that's the Disney cell. So this will most likely be the last time I am commenting in news way on the Disney cell because next time I film the due date will be over for when you have to join if you want to join. So, And there is two options if you are joining. You can either pay the full price at once or you can pa pay uh, a little bit more in total but you do it over several months so and if you are joining please comment my name because then I get a discount towards the extra panels so uh, the, the DMC the new uh, DMC uh, is I think they are soon is releasing. I know from Lakeside Needlecraft you can pre-order them. I really want to join that, but I need to count my pennies and see uh, if I can sneak out some money to get those because um, Adele, my lovely lovely friend, she this is some someone heard from someone, but. Uh, she uh, heard or got picture of how the flosses compares to the original DMC colors and 
what you can see from the pictures is that every color is almost identical to the normal one except the white one. The white one looks a little bit more grey. Or silvery. But in, in my mind, uh, if I am doing snow, I still think that can be a great color. Just need to see. Uh, especially if you have like a dark blue fabric or something and that will uh, make the color look a little bit lighter. So, still want those colors. Over two whips. That's what we are all here for. The stitching. So, um, last time I left you, I was... I think I had started to stitch on the Final Fantasy. For the rotation. And uh, I stitched the two days after that I had planned. And I had three characters left. I had only done like one character a day. Approximately. Sorry for my sniveling. I am still having a little bit of a cold. Uh, and I had three characters left. But I knew with myself if I just sat down and stitched, I could get those done in a day easily. It was just a problem. I did almost not stitch at all the other days. So, what I did. Uh, and what is so great with my new rotation is that I can easily just make a part of the rotation a little bit longer in the days. And I still will follow my rotation. So I did that and I finished my final fantasy. So here they are all done. really happy with how they turned out. This is Final Fantasy 7 by Klaus Factory. It is stitched on a 28 count even weave. I think it's a Murano. And this one I hand dyed myself. The color is not true. It's a little bit more like a yellowy green color, like a bright yellowy green color. So that's actually this is the correct color <laughs> back here so that's that so that was exciting getting a finish always happy to get a finish um then i started the rotation that is the category gift sales and swaps and um, I have found that I most likely will still do it a little bit longer. Since I am easily switching projects, since it's, it's a category, it's not like I have to stitch on that project and that project and that project. I, I usually can have those a little bit longer uh, in my rotation. So I did stitch a little bit on my baby tree sampler. Um, and here it is now. I did this Free trunk and this is uh, this is actually the wing of the bird sitting in the tree so I decided to do the green color in just a DMC green color that I found that I like I think it was 964 maybe something like that 
Uh, and these other flosses are hand dyed by Rolanda. And the fabric is um, light. Not light, is it? It is lavender one. I think it's either antique or light lavender. 46 count by X2 Designs. And it's a really nice linen to stitch with because it's it feels soft on the hands, but it's still just a tiny bit stiff. But you you do you do not feel the stiffness, but it it is there for when you stitch. So I actually can stitch this in hand, and I do stitch it in hand. So that's um, really fun. I like that because most linens and even weaves I cannot stitch in hand because they are too too loose for me. I end up pulling the floss too much. Uh, I can, but it takes so much time. So, um, so there's that. There is supposed to be like four leaves under here. I don't know if I will do them because. I think just filling in the leaves up here, I think I think that would look better without the leaves hanging here. But I'm not sure. Tell me what you think. And then I, I'm missing the bird and I'm missing the dare and the writing. So still a good part to do. But I think if I just sit down and do it, it will go fast. So it's one of those things you just have to sit down and actually do. So next it was this Tuesday where I did my live stitch with me and I decided to try and stitch on my Haunted Mansion cell because the Blood Moon was calling me. I am doing a Blood Moon conversion on my Haunted Mansion cell. And here I am now. This is a Mystery Ada that I got from Stacy. A grey granite colored one fits perfectly for this haunted mansion and that moon if we take away the most of the yellow at the top it looks really really good i am very happy with it so going forward i will most likely frog out the yellow and stitch rest of the moon because i think i think i like it and will stick with uh, my blood moon so even though it did give me a lot of pain So that's where I am with that one. So hope I hope to get some more stitching done on this for this rotation, but I I need to get my one color biscornu done where I have sharted the pattern myself. So I started that yesterday and stitched for about two hours. And it is a pretty quick stitch, uh, much faster than I first believed. But I also, on purpose, I didn't want like one of the huge biscornus where you have, I have some that is 100 by 100 and some that are, that are 80 by 80 or 70 by 70. I think that's the smallest one I found. And it just was, um, I felt it was a little bit too big for me to stitch for a swap. So I basically made my own that are, it's 39 by 39. So almost 40 by 40. And I'm happy with how it looks. And you will see that when the recipients receive her Biscorner. Because I do not know if she watches my floss tube and she knows she is getting the Viscornu from me. So. 
And today, I did remember to bring my 100 Days of Hate challenge. It is the um, Butterflies Galore. Uh, Heaven and Earth Design. Uh, the artist is Jasmine Beckett Griffith. And here I am now. So yesterday I managed to finish this first page. So I can actually take her out of the hoop because I need to uh, move her so I can get better working on the next page. So I do, I have found that I need to do her with the, uh, this way in the hoop so I can fasten the treads in back. That's how she looks at the back. It's not as neat as my Kyosogo ball because 10 stitching is hard to get neat on the back. Uh, so it doesn't look so good in the back, but whatever. So here is what she looks like if my magnets needle minders. Okay, I do it like this. So this is uh I think it's a 32 count even weave. It's either a 32 or 28 count that I just had some leftover scraps. You can see there is even a little bit cut off there. Uh, so so there is where I'm at. Got the page finish. So I'm really happy with that. So um that was the stitching that I have done. I have also, as I said, been dyeing some fabric. I don't have everything here because one of the fabric it's still rinsing and it now has this is the third day I am rinsing it and the first and the second day for about I think every 30 minutes I did change the water up uh, while rinsing because I tried to uh, rinse it by hand which I have done before but it, it didn't want to stop running blue so it's a dark blue color and it's just running and running and running. So I am rinsing and rinsing and rinsing and it has, on the night, it has laid in cold water overnight. And I think finally this, it's starting to look like it might stop rinsing soon. My biggest concern is that the color will fade away because I got a really nice dark dark blue color that I wanted and it has already lightened up uh, quite a bit so but oh well what can you do um so I was thinking I would show you some of the fabric that I did dye uh, this is some scrap 18 count ADA uh, one big piece and two smaller pieces that just was a little leftover I had from when I cut out the Epic Disney Princess one. That is the one I am re-dyeing as a bit darker. So I did it in light blue because I I really like light light blue, sky blue as a neutral color. It works with most patterns that's at least what I feel at least of the ones I do so 
a little bit weird shading there but modeling and this is the bigger piece so I am actually pretty happy with them so uh, and I also dyed a 30 count for carry I think actually I used what it says on the package is in centimeters stitches per centimeters and that did equal to 30 a 30 count but when I use the count gauge that I have uh, it actually showed up to a 32 count so it might be a 32 count this is for uh, Kelly she won my birthday giveaway and this is what I dyed for her and for some reason the gray color uh, I did I had like a black color um, and it was very dark gray to begin with and when it rinsed out it turned up almost green so it's a uh, almost a green gray color so i hope you like it kelly if not let me know and i will re-dye you a piece of fabric because it didn't turn out exactly how i wanted since it ended up being green but as i say what can you do i'm not an expert at dyeing fabric this is my third time dyeing fabric so it is what it is you live and learn um, going forward over to plants going forward uh, I am still sticking to my rotation and I love it so my rotation has started over that's because I'm in the sell gift swap category that is the first one then I'm doing the lady and the tiger and then I would have done the Final Fantasy 7 but I am not because that is done so instead um, I think I will start the Cinderella because that is a pattern that I want to get started on and finish as quick as possible since I am borrowing it and I also really love the pattern so will most likely be a fun stitch so but don't hold me accountable because it, there is a chance that I will start a full coverage instead um, so but we'll see uh, I have had a really big aching for starting things because when I can when I can stitch that much, I have been kidding off projects, I have been cutting fabric and zigzagging edges and bobbinating and organizing floss and so on and so on. And it really makes me want to start a whole lot of new stuff. So I did take a scrap piece I had of a 25 count. 25 and while I was doing it, I was talking to Adele and she was like, oh, what are you doing? What are you kidding up? And I was like, mm, I don't know. I will tell you <laughs> because when I do scrap pieces like that, I will measure out and see what patterns I can fit. And I ended up getting four of my heaven and earth design to fit on the fabric. So that was exciting. There also is a chance that one of the heaven and earth designs i actually uh, instead will do a tilt and craft on because it's approximately the same size so i think i can make it work as i have said before i am frugal so i can't waste fabric <laughs> um and i have been thinking more and more about the no star 2019 and 
the more I think about it, the more stressed out I have become and stitching haven't been as fun because I'm stressing about everything that I need to start before 2019. And that is just because I am, I know I have patterns to stitch all of 2019, but I will most likely end up in the end of 2019 only having like full coverage pieces left to do. Um, that's, that's what I believe and feel and I am stressing about and I know there is a lot of cells coming out that sounds really nice that I want to join. Ingleside Imaginarium has already um, said that she most likely will do a bigger sale this year. So that will be fun. Um, so I, since she did first dragons and the guardians of the Notre Dame. I have both of the patterns. I have not started them, but I love the patterns and I should really get going on them. So I think I also will love the next one. That's at least what I feel. So what I had ended up thinking is I need to not think that I am going to do a no start 2019 because it is stressing me out and my body can't handle stress so I get I get more ill I get I have almost become a little bit depressed lately and so on because um yeah I I the other times I have been like this when doing challenges, I have I have felt that okay, just jump in, do it, and I end up like arbitrary August. I end up halfway in the month. I'm like, nope, not doing this anymore. And so I was thinking, what can I do that will give me the same. the same trophy in the end as doing a no stitch 2019 well no start 2019 i mean no stitch that would be fun <laughs> that would not be fun no starts 2019 um for me no start 2019 meant that i would get some finishes done and not increase my whip pile because my biggest problem with my whips uh, it's not that I am a very big starter because I actually are not that big of a fan of starting a whole lot of things especially at once so that's why only having like three months to start a bunch of stuff stresses me out I don't want to do it so what can I do and then I have been I haven't been binge watching Jesse Marie like from the beginning but I did like start on her um whip parade from 2017 I think it was and I've like started binge watching her from there and she was this year doing um uh, uh, a kind of buying starts she had to have at least two finishes or partial finishes before being able to start the new one so but for me I am thinking I have so many I often will start small projects and I have a lot of mini finishes because I will count page finish, uh, a part finish of a cell, everything like that, I will count against a finish 
because that's what I usually feel is a finish for me. Um, so a page finish and part finish is a mini finish, but it's still a finish in my mind. So I have been thinking that only doing two whips before starting something new, that's, uh, that's likely to make me increase my whip pile. Um, especially with my rotation now, because uh, I am myself feeling I get a lot more um, parts of Sal done since I have the, the category for the Sal's and gift and swaps um, to do. So I get a lot of those done. Since I am focusing on my Lady and the Tiger, she has bigger pages. Um, and sometimes, since they are almost double the size of a hate page, I feel like when I have done half the page that that is a mini finish. So only doing two might end up increasing my whip pile after all. And uh, so instead I am thinking that I will have three finishes before I can start a new one. And I am also thinking that um, I will not count sales against starting because that's the reason I made the category for the rotation is that I can start and do a whole bunch of sales when I want, when I feel like it. Um, so sales, and gifts will not count against the, the having to earn credit to start something new. And uh, in a way I can also save up. If I have done three finishes, I do not need to start something immediately. I can save up until there is a uh, like, uh, uh, a stitch along I want to do with someone else if it's someone's birthday sal uh, because those sales I do not count against my the mystery sales um, so so yeah um, so that is my plans let me know what you think uh, and I decided this like when I was not sleeping <laughs> tonight and just getting that out of my system and deciding that no I can't do this this is troubling me too much I actually ended up falling asleep just a little bit right after so I think it may have affected affected my sleeping it's not it's not the main reason I couldn't sleep, but it has been affecting me. So <sighs> that's that. Um, so plans going forward, you will most likely only see the different styles I am working on. I will finish the one color Biscornu. I am hoping to catch up on the furry tails have a little stop on that because since I did so many changes on the first block I know I want to do a lot of changes on the next block or else it will look out of place um, so and when I have not been too good my brain is not working and I can do a lot of conversions basically so I hope to get that done and maybe catch up on my adventure await style. But we'll see. That's, uh, that means I need to <laughs> prolong the category for a long time <laughs> if I'm going to get everything done. So, um, A little reminder before we go to haul. The giveaway for 500 subscribers go to my floss tube number 22 and 
comment there. You don't need to comment anything special to join the giveaway. You just have to be over 18. If you are not over 18, get one of your parents to enter for you and don't say giveaway. So, because we don't want other people to steal the, the giveaway. So, um, I have a little bit of haul. This actually came today. Little bit, a little bit. Two bags of DMZ. Uh, there is two. There is supposed to be two hundred skeins. I have not opened and counted them, but from this seller, it's a seller on eBay. Um, I normally, I have never gotten too little. Uh, what? Once, once or twice, I might have gotten the wrong color, uh, but not something major. And in all honesty, when I did like the 600, the six bags I bought, like 600 floss, uh, and he did everything correct, I don't think I can really be mad at him for doing one wrong. So. But basically what I have done is the 3, 3880 to 3895. I found out that I can't get them in the store uh, I have. They said that they have every DMC color, but they did not have the 3, 3880 to 3895. And I know those colors are used in the Disney style. So... Uh, I bought like a bunch of each of those. I think I bought like four or five skeins of each of those colors. And then I bought uh, some colors that I only had one or two skeins of. Um, just because I am afraid of running out. Especially when I'm doing so many different um, big full coverage pieces. I am really touching each and every color I have in my DMC collection. So, so yeah. Um, and I also, since I already was past, he is doing like, you buy 100 skeins at once. And since I knew I was going over 100 skeins, I think I need like 140. I knew that I also wanted more of the new colors. The from 1 to 35. So I bought um, I bought so I have two or three of each of them. And then there were still some colors left. I think I was having like 190 different skeins. So the last ones I did the variegated ones because I don't have all of them. So I bought the ones I am missing. So now I have all of um, all of those. So that's fun. I th and when I buy them like that, I I get each skein really cheap from what it would have been here in Norway. And it actually compares, it compares to what I can get it from the US. And he has free shipping, so I don't pay shipping. So that's amazing. So, um... The cost isn't that bad, even though it looks like it is a massive amount. Um, so I'm happy with that. I also, for my birthday, joined the fabric of the month from Extra Design. Uh, so I did get 
traditional sal part one with uh, a skein of pink and blue to use for the sal I guess it's called baby boy and baby girl and I also did get an extra uh, reddish pink floss uh, for now I am doing both the primitive colorway and the bright colorway I only doing the primitive colorway for three months uh, it is just to see if I like it or not and um, I know I most likely is going to love the the bright way so I also bought a 56 count pale drapel linen it's just a nice neutral with a high count um, because I really starting to love the high counts I am getting these in 46 count so this is the bright August uh, August one it is uh, this is being washed out. It's like a bright orange, like a pumpkin orange color. And the primitive is actually Dark Mountain. Uh, and I really love that one. It's, uh, it's a really nice one. So, in 46 count that also. And the good thing about extra design, what I feel is I have already paid for all the costs. So this is not like I pay monthly. I have paid and I will get fabric monthly. So I have two more months on the primitive and I have five more months on the bright one. I also ended up getting some happy mail <laughs> and uh, immediately when I saw the packaging I was like it's pink it's full of Disney princesses it is super cute with hearts and I was like has Adele sent me something and then I opened the package and yes she did <laughs> I had no clue she was sending me and at first I was like how has she got my email address <laughs> that was my first thought so I got this super cute Cinderella card and uh, it was packed in this super cute envelope And she basically said that she had seen these patterns and immediately thought of me because they're dragons and they're cute. And um, she, she also sent something extra in case I did have these patterns, but I don't, so I love them. So I got this um, pink dragon and I am thinking that if I can fit it on this blue 18 count then I will do it on this blue 18 count I think that will look really gorgeous and I also got this uh, barbecuing bear <laughs> he's so cute and this little dog and I think that's a cat. It has to be a cat. So super cute and I immediately thought of my uh, dad-in-law because he in the summer he is like oh do you want to come and eat with us and they are always barbecuing and he is so proud of his barbecuing skills and so I immediately thought of him 
And most people or his children is a little bit scared of him because he can he can be intimidating. I know that he can be intimidating. But to me he has always like my my husband said that he almost liked me better than all his kids. <laughs> He really loves me. I think he is so sweet and nice to me because he is so scared of scaring me away. Because both of his parents feel that I was really the girl for my husband. And I was like, you have to have her. You don't let her go. <laughs> so, so to me, he's, he's just a big bear, a big teddy bear. So this will be perfect. And lastly, of the patterns, uh, I got this dragon. And both of the dragon's patterns, I have actually been looking at buying the di digital version just to get the dragons. Uh, because I love them. This dragon actually reminds me a little bit of a Teresa Wenzler dragon. So, really cool one. I get that Teresa Wenzler wipe. So that's cool. So I also got this. Um, it's called Burnt Apricot Opal. I love it. It's a little bit bluish pinkish. Really cool color. And uh, variegated floss. One of the DMCs in pink. So. Thank you, thank you so much, Adele. I love it. And as I said to Adele, that came on the, the best day it could have come on. I was really down. I was having such a crappy day. And I went to the mailbox. and The pink envelope just was like shining towards me. And I was like, what? A bright pink envelope? Like. What is this? And then I saw the princesses and stuff, and I was like, hmm, this has to be Adele. I know it has to be Adele. So I loved it. Thank you so much. Uh, it really made my day. Uh, it was the Tuesday, and I was actually considering canceling my stitch with me because I had such a bad day, but that it saved the day, and I did the stitch with me. <laughs> So that was amazing. The last thing I did buy is not actually stitching related, but a little bit. I got it in this huge box. Everything was packed in these nice uh, bags. I really love getting these because these are so fun to use when sending stuff to other people. So being reused. And they had like this massive bubble plastic wrap. And on top of it, I got like a massive bunch of filling. And I love that, that it was wrapped in this um, filling so I can actually use it. So I'm gonna use that for pillows. So that's why everything is like here because I'm going to save it. And what I did get in that very carefully packaged uh, box is this one. It's a dragon hiding a cookie on his back. Uh, it's from a seller on Etsy, so if you want to know where, just leave me a comment and I will give you the link. Because I don't remember it right now in my head. And this cute dragon playing with his Superman and having his cape on. Uh, I actually am collecting small crystal figurines. So I have like a place I have all of those and now I have made just a little I have added this clay also to the collection because when I saw these dragons I had to have them because 
they're dragons and they're cute so and I also and this is where it gets a little bit stitching related she also had that you could buy these small dragons and you decide yourself uh, what you want them to to look like and she will do it what colors and stuff you want and I said I wanted the four elements so we have water sleeping baby dragons and earth and fire And ear so I love those and she was like all the time she was messaging me when she had done them because she makes them after you order them and asking do you like this and this and I I could say if I wanted to change any, anything she would so I love those four and I also ordered a little pink uh, baby dragon so, and my thought about this, these are that I will turn them into needle minders because they are not, they're not that big if you see, not that thick. So I think they will be perfect needle minders. And since I then have one from every element, I think I can make them fit on most of my projects. That I have so the next thing I need to do is get some more magnets so I actually can turn them into needle minders so I, I know I should not be spending money and I have decided that even though I was supposed to order a Chatelaine kit I have decided that that will wait and I have to I'm not sure I will join stitch from stash next year uh, but I will do a kind of like stitch from stash for myself and um, earn m money for doing the shadowing and then I will not count the monthly budget you get i i will don't i will not have a monthly budget i will only get money from the completed project that i do so shall lane will have to wait and i think that is also one of the reasons i do not want so bad to do no stars 2019 because i hope that i can get the shadow lane uh, soon maybe by Christmas if I am really good these last months and um, and then I will start it in the new year so but we'll see so cross your fingers that I don't buy anything more so I can get a chavelaine that I think that will be really fun so that is all I had for you today uh, I think ne next time I will film is a Friday again but since this weekend was busy I if the weekend is busy I do it on Thursdays instead so thank you so much for joining and watching me I am really enjoying this um, I am also going to do the live stitching with me on Tuesday uh, I I have found that I will most li likely start 8 p.m. or 8.30 p.m. my time and my time is Central European summer time so just google what 8 p.m. Central European summer time is in your time and you know when I go live I will also a few minutes before I go live announce it on Instagram it usually is very like just a few minutes before because um, I have just been putting my son to bed and I can't sit on my phone while uh, doing the bedtime so 
no phones allowed during bedtime for me. So that's that. I hope you will have a lovely weekend and I uh, hope you will have a lovely day and I will see you later. So goodbye.